So you're thinking about buying a home in Cookville, Tennessee, but you want to know what this small Tennessee town has to offer. You want to know, uh, you know, the downtown area, what the commercial areas are like, and really what you have access to here. In this video, I'm going to show you around all that. But starting out here in downtown, it's actually a really nice little downtown area. It's got this historic train station right here with the train in the background there that you can see. And then these really beautiful historic buildings just with all the, the character of an old historic downtown and you know everything that you would expect to find somewhere like this with the boutique shops and the restaurants. So, I mean, you just look back along here, you can see the boutique shops that run along this road through here. And this is, you know, one road and there's actually another section of it down through, let's see, down back this way as well. So for a, for a town of this size, it is actually a fairly good size downtown but you can see all the nice boutique shops and you can see they even have some downtown condos so you know if you want that downtown lifestyle even in just a small downtown like this you can get that here and this is just the next street over and you can see just another uh, section of the historic buildings with that charm and classic look and it's just going to be more shops and restaurants and there's actually some some really good restaurants in Cookville, uh, especially for the size of the town. So just having this downtown area that is, you know, this nice with all this stuff in a town this size, population uh, around 35,000 is pretty awesome. And then right next to downtown, they've got this really nice park. So this is literally just a block away from where I was with all the shops and restaurants and everything. So you just walk over here and it's just this really nice big park that has the fountain in the middle and uh, you know just beautiful scenery. So the downtown transitions right into this park and then surrounded, um, you know, everything that surrounds the downtown is the neighborhoods, really the, the historic homes that were originally here. So I'm going to walk out here so you can see those really quick. They're beautiful homes. But if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, tap that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. So you'll be the first to learn about the market here in Tennessee. My name is Forrest McCullough. I'm a real estate agent here in Tennessee. And me and the team get calls every day from people just like you looking to buy or sell a home in Tennessee. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about making a move next week or next year, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email. We'd be happy to answer your questions, get to know your unique situation, help you find the right community to call home and help you make that move to or in Tennessee. So this is just the next block over from that park I was at. And now we're here in the residential part of Cookville. And so, you know, a block away from that park, literally just two blocks away from the downtown. And we're here in the neighborhoods really beautiful historic homes and they're on nice big lots trees nice big trees lining the streets so it's a really pretty area and you're going to find homes with a ton of character here um, you'll be able to see a couple of them a little better here in a second but you know cookville like i said population about 35,000. that was in 21 that's 21 census is what that was from so it's a little bit more now but uh, Cookville is home to Tennessee Tech University, so it's a it's a college town. Here's here's a really pretty home behind me, um, and I mean that's a huge lot. This is this lot's got to be like four acres, and it's right next to to downtown. So just incredible, incredible home and lot. There's a there's a bunch like that through here, but you know so Tennessee Tech is the university here, and being a being a town of only uh, 35,000 or so. That university has about 10,000 students. So that really makes up a lot of the population here, having those students there. And so the, the university is a lot of what's going on here in Cookville. There is, uh, you know, the medical center here as well. So for a town this size, it has a, a pretty big medical center. 
another beautiful house there behind me. So those, both those things are gonna be really close by to where I am now. Uh, you know, the university and the medical center are gonna be close by. So, you know, those are, those are some of the biggest employers, the, the university, the medical center. Um, but then of course you have the school systems and then all the other stuff like that. But really the university and the medical center are two of the big ones and those are gonna be right close by to here. So, you know, this is uh, essentially downtown, you know, just a block away, two blocks away from everything in downtown and um, absolutely beautiful neighborhoods. If you wanna see uh, some more of the neighborhoods in Cookville, I'll link a video um, where I'll show a lot of the neighborhoods. So you can check that out. I'll link that in the description below. But, you know, uh, Cookville, being a smaller town, it really has a lot to offer as far as shopping and all that. So, uh, you know, the downtown where we saw, but it's also got a lot of other stuff. So I'm gonna take you and show you that. If you're wondering what the shopping areas in Cookville are like, this is one of them. And there are a couple more, but you know, this has your Publix grocery store down there on the end. It's got Academy Sports down here on the other end, a Ross Dress for Less, Ulta, uh, Five Below, Shoe Carnival. So just a bunch of stuff right through here. And then over on this side, there's a few more things, actually a few restaurants up through here, but you have your chicken salad chick. You've got a Five Guys burgers and fries up through there as well. Baskin Robbins ice cream on that side. And then on the far side of that is the main road that has some more restaurants, has Texas Roadhouse, Chick-fil-A, McAllister's, and several others. There's also uh, Petco, over here on the end, so the pet store. So there's a bunch of stuff right in here, you know, and then all the other stuff like nail salons and all of that. So this is another one of the shopping areas. And, you know, there are two kind of major shopping areas, the one we were just in and then this one. And of course there's some others around that are smaller as well, but you've got several things along through here. Down on this end, you have another pet store. You have a Old Navy, a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods a Hobby Lobby, and then the big one through here is you have a Belk, and then there's also a K Jewelers right here. There's the K, and you know, several things, Rack Room Shoes, uh, Plato's Closet. So there's a bunch of stuff along through here. Down here on the other end, there was also a GameStop, a Claire's, another nail salon, and there is a Kirkland's home store. It's right back here behind me. There's another little outlet store. It's a, a Wrangler and Levi outlet right over here. So pretty good amount of stuff here in Cookville. There are two Walmarts in Cookville. There is not a Target. So if you love Target, there's no Target here in Cookville, but a pretty good amount of stuff with all this other stuff here. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what Cokeville is like. You know, if you are thinking about buying a home here and you want a real estate team that's gonna have your back through the process, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you find the right community, the right home uh, to call home here in Cokeville or another area around Tennessee. You know, I do these videos in other areas around the state and our team covers other areas as well. So wherever you're looking, if you want help finding the right community, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you out with that. But other than that, I will see you on the next video.